Hello and welcome to video lesson number seven. We have been building up to this in several basic video lessons, but this video lesson is something I have never shared with anybody and I think it's really gonna help you. So I'm glad that you made it this far. I hope you enjoy this. And now let me tell you about the most important lesson I have learned over the years. I've been trading many years and it took me many years to realize this. So hopefully I can teach this to you quicker and save you time and money. But first, why do I teach? Okay, I've made millions of dollars. My students are now making hundreds of thousands and millions of dollars as a group. Why do I teach? Why? Tell me. I want to be your mentor, the mentor I never had, okay? At some point, you get tired of just making money. I love making money, okay? I'm Jewish, I love it. There's nothing better than having freedom, independence, wealth. You can enjoy yourself, you can take care of your loved ones, you can you know, lavish your friends. It's amazing. But at some point, it gets a little old and you need to look for more in life. And being a mentor to my students is the single most fulfilling thing I have ever done. And it beats all the money I have ever made and all the money I have ever will make. There's something special about it. And I know that might sound corny, but the truth is, is that 90% of traders lose money. That is a terrible, terrible statistic. You know, I went to the library the other day. I went to Barnes & Noble the other day. And there's small sections relating to trading in the stock market. Because, you know, you have Warren Buffett, hold forever. You have Peter Lynch, buy what's popular. You don't have much in the way of trading because so many people lose money and they don't want to think about it. That's sad. Trading has changed my life. It made me a multi-millionaire. It has given me all this independence. It's given me so much and I want to give something back to the industry. So when 90% of traders lose money, that's just something I can't accept. I'm sorry. You know, I, it's just too great of an industry if you share the right rules and you have a solid education. And the problem is, is that most traders are lost. They use guesswork and they have no plan. It's terrible, but not my students. I want to show you some graphs. These are my Tim Alert subscribers. These are their profits. They report this openly. This is just in the past few years since I started. Remember, I've only started teaching for a few years now. I've been trading for over a decade, but I've only been teaching for a few years. And now my Tim Alert subscribers have made nearly $2 million in just a few years. Penny Stock and Silver subscribers, they made one and a half million. This was started after Tim Alert, so that's why it's less. And my latest thing, the Millionaire Challenge students, this was just started a few months ago where I'm actually gonna create a millionaire from scratch and already just a few students and we're up nearly a half a million dollars. These are my VIPs. They want to learn the most. So I'm very proud to show them a framework and be the mentor that I never had. I'm completely self-taught. The internet wasn't evolved back when I first started. There was no way for me to do, you know, or anybody to do video lessons and webinars and all of this useful content and tools to help you learn quicker. I had to learn the hard way. And I learned, but I want to cut down your learning time. And trust me, you're going to be better off that way. So, the most important lesson I have learned over the years. It is extraordinarily simple, but do not let that make you think that it is not hugely important. Sometimes the best lessons are the simplest. And I came up with a nice four letters. ALFT. A-L-F-T. Always look for tops. And this might seem obvious. Oh, okay. Let me just guess where the top is and then I'll understand everything. I'm not saying guess where the top is. Always look for tops. I'm choosing my words very carefully. Whether you want to short sell, meaning you want to bet against the stocks at the top, or whether you want to buy and you want to sell as close to the top as possible, look for signs of topping. Never try to say, okay, this is definitely the top because trying to pick the exact top is impossible. Trust me, I've tried on thousands of stocks. You're never going to be perfect. It's, it, you don't want to be perfect. It's not about being perfect. The way to make the most amount of money is to look for indicators of when there's topping. And that way, if you're long a stock, you can sell it when it looks like there's indicators that it might be topping. If you want to short a stock, you look for those same kinds of indicators and you say, wait a minute, maybe this stock is going to come down. You don't assert yourself. You don't say, oh, I... 
you know, whatever your name is, and you say, I know where the top is. No, you don't. Anything can happen in the stock market. But if you look for the tops and you look for the indicators, which I teach in this framework, then guess what? You have better odds. It is not a coincidence that I started short selling SPAH right here at 76 cents. It hit a high of 80 or 82. There were signs of a top. This is just one example. I'll give you a ton of examples. RAYS, this is another pump, another penny stock pump that I love shorting. And I've made tens of thousands of dollars. I shorted this at 246. The high was 250. I also shorted it here at 2. The high was 210. It's not random that I'm shorting right near the tops. There were indicators. ALZM, I was shorting it here in the twos before it crashed. I like shorting, but understanding what are the indicators of a top. And they're just simple indicators. I'm talking about like fading volume, less mailers, certain chart patterns. I go over these in my DVDs. I go over these in my video lessons. There's a lot of them. But once you start being able to identify these indicators on your own, you're going to make so much more money. Trust me on that. HHWW, I'm shorting this here in the 270s, right near the top of three. Later it crashed to under a penny. Why do I know this time and again? It is not random. POTG, I'm shorting this here in the dollars twice, $1 a share range. It got a little higher, but eventually it came down. And I made bank. I made more money than several people, a lot of people, I'm sorry to say, make in the course of a year. Teachers, social workers. I made more than them knowing where the top is, looking for the top on this, and acting, and short selling. There's another one, Jammin, J-A-M-N. I shorted this at six, and in the fives, the top was 625. It crashed in a few days from six to one. I wish I could say that I wrote it all the way down, but I'm not that great at it. What I am great is picking these tops and looking for these tops and not saying, okay, this is definitely the top, but saying the indicators say it's close to a top. The odds are now on my side. And this is my secret to success. Okay. It all boils down to this. It's not about being able to examine companies, fundamental analysis or memorizing chart patterns. It's about getting the odds on my side on every single trade. So people, oh, Tim, how do you do it? How do you make money 70, 80, sometimes 90% of the time? The answer is simple. I try to look for tops. And I buy a lot of the time. I don't just short. These are all examples of where I shorted, but I also buy stocks 30% of the time. And when I buy a stock, I have to know when to get out. I have to see, you know what, if I'm buying a stock, how high can it go? What are the indicators that it's going to top? LEXG. This one had a top right here in the tens. There were no shares to short, but I was shorting this here in the sixes, which turned out to be a pretty good short too. Sometimes you can't always be there for the top, but once you learn how to spot it, how to identify these key indicators, you're going to do so much better. JVA. And this is one I just wanted to bring up an example. It's not just penny stocks. Understanding where the top is, understanding these indicators. This stock went from 5 to over 30. I was shorting this at 29 and 28, right near the top. And I covered down here. And I made a profit. And I'm not saying that, oh my God, this is such a surefire thing. But I promise you that if you learn with me, I can be the mentor I never personally had, which I can guarantee you is going to help you. But more importantly, I'm going to get the odds on your side. You don't have to guess. You don't have to be these 90% of traders who lose money. You don't have to do that anymore. This isn't about hot stock picks. This isn't about working hard and researching till your eyes feel like they're going to fall off. This is about learning a simple framework and then using that framework over and over and over again and being amazed at the results, just like my current students are and just like I am. You know, I didn't plan on any of this. I never meant to go into being a stock trader or a short seller or someone who trades penny stocks or definitely not somebody who teaches. Okay. You know, when I made all this money, I was like, okay, I have a special talent. I'm going to use it for myself. I had no idea that I was going to change and want to share this with so many people. But I'll tell you, it feels great.
So my challenge is to create millionaires. That is it. That is all I want to do. Self-sufficient millionaires, I should say. It's not just about me giving you picks and you making money. If I give you picks for 10 years and you make over a million dollars, that's good. Sure, that's awesome. But I'm not the happiest because I want you to be self-sufficient. I won't always be around. And I'll tell you, I haven't even explored everything. I haven't traded international markets. I haven't looked at Forex and options. There's a lot of stuff that I've yet to do because I've refined this strategy so much. And I've been focusing on something. You know, when you focus on something for over a decade, you become very good at it. You know, there's this thing like all you have to do is practice something 10,000 hours. Malcolm Gladwell said that. I guarantee you, I have practiced this and refined this more than 10,000 hours. And you could do the same, but 10,000 hours is a lot of time. Let me cut your learning time down. Let me try to turn you into a self-made millionaire. My only question is, do you have what it takes? Not everybody wants it. Some people, they just want alerts. Some people just want to memorize chart patterns. That's not going to do it. You might make some money. You might make some serious money that way. But you're not going to become the ultimate self-sufficient millionaire that I know you can be. So I ask you again, do you have what it takes? My challenge is to create millionaires. I would love to turn you into a millionaire. Thank you.